This is episode 26 of the podcast series based on the books 100 Top Lies of Satan, Which Ones Do You or Your Church Believe? This is lie number 83. I have faith, but God is not answering my prayers. So God plays favorites by picking who he will bless. Hebrews 11.6 But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We have all been created in order to please our Creator. The above verse from Hebrews says we must have faith in order to please God. But what is faith? Some use the word faith as a substitute for their religious beliefs. I am of the Hindu faith, or my faith is Christianity. We are not talking about that use of the word. This rebuttal lesson starts a series of 11 lessons, which conclude in volume 3 of this book series, on what God says faith is from His Word. There are few doctrines as essential to Christianity as the doctrine concerning faith. As we will learn in this lesson, God never picks and chooses whom He will bless or for whom He answers prayers on a whim. There is always a basis for who receives from God, both judgment and blessings. By the end of these 11 lessons, you will be able to diagram for yourself and others exactly what God means by having the kind of faith which pleases God. One must understand the Word of God before one can understand the faith of God. The word faith appears at least 247 times in 231 verses in the Bible. The word faith appears 245 times in the New Testament. In Hebrews chapter 11, all the heroes of great faith were from the Old Testament. The Old Testament word was trust. Trust appears in its various forms around 150 times in the Old Testament. Trust looked forward to the cross to the complete work of God. All the Old Testament saints died looking forward to the spiritual promises that God had made. Today, we are on this side of the cross, and we are looking back at facts. We don't have to wonder when God will fulfill his promises. Old Testament saints were still in faith, as Hebrews chapter 11 states. Trust looks forward to the cross while faith looks back at facts. There are two main principles that give balance to faith. These principles work like the two rails of a railroad track. Just as a train will not stray from its track, you won't go very far from the truth of God if you remember these two principles. These two principles will keep you from wandering away from God's truth. The first principle, God works with man by a faith program. God deals with everyone by the faith that they put in him. We're talking about the works of the cross, not the gifts of the Spirit. God requires 100% faith at any given time regarding the particular thing you're believing. If you think you're at 80% faith and 20% doubt, you're really at 100% doubt. Error mixed with truth is error. God hates mixture. Error makes truth ineffective. All of man's spiritual, physical, and material needs are covered through the cross. All of God's promises for mankind are based on each man's faith in what God says. We are all responsible for the knowledge of God that we have and what we do with it. God is never the problem with us receiving from God. We are the problem. Main principle number two, God is no respecter of persons. It doesn't matter to God who is doing the asking. As long as the person is working with the faith program, God must come through with his end of the deal. 
God is not willing that any should perish. God's program works the same way for everyone. We are not speaking of the gifts, callings, etc., which the Holy Spirit shall give as He wills. The rest of this teaching rebuttal lays out God's definition for His kind of faith. Everyone has the ability and capacity for having God's kind of faith. The two important aspects of God's kind of faith are explored. Confession and conviction of truth that results in action. Finally, man's faith is contrasted with God's kind of faith. The pattern in the Word of God for God faith is given. God speaks creation into being. Men of God in the Old Testament spoke things into being. Jesus calls those things that are not as though they are. And New Testament believers act out God faith by speaking creative power. Man's faith is based on seeing things in the natural before believing. Our next episode will discuss lie number 82. It's prudent to base one's life on the best of what each of the world's religions and philosophies has to offer. This is from Volume 2 of the series, 100 Top Lies of Satan. Which ones do you or your church believe? Please come back and give it a listen. Remember, the paperback book and Kindle e-reader versions of Volumes 1 and 2, 100 Top Lies of Satan, Which Ones Do You or Your Church Believe, can be purchased on Amazon.com. Do a search for 100 Top Lies of Satan, and you can order from there. Also visit our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Top Lies of Satan. Our podcasts are found at Podcast.com slash 100 Top Lies of Satan with hyphens in between 363AF03C6. Our blogs can be found at topliesofsatan.wixsite, W-I-X-S-I-T-E dot com slash website. Finally, our YouTube channel can be found by searching 